video is how to draw a skeleton from a three-quarter view. Why a three-quarter view? Because I want to show as much depth um, or illusion of depth in my drawing as I possibly can. Now, paper is flat. How can we make our drawing not look flat? How can we give our paper a sense of depth or added interest? That is going to be drawing from a three-quarter view. So some of us are better at this than others. Um, let's see if we can't just challenge ourselves and see if we can do this. Okay. Um, the first step in drawing in a three-quarter view is getting this angle in there correctly. Okay. So... Get that angle in and right here it's like a check mark right however it's rounded so let's remember our basic shape drawing technique look at this roundness if you make something rounder than it actually is then what's going to happen is it's going to just pop off the page so Pull it up a little bit. Just like that. Once you have your basic shape down, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on a pedestal. Um, Just looking at the negative space in my drawing, and take it as often as you have to sharpen your pencil. I'm going to make this even more angular to show even more depth. Nice. I just want this to go back in space. Negative space, I'm seeing that there's a negative space right here. I'm not coloring in my negative space. Um, I'm just making sure that the shape is there. Now, these scallops, where did they start? They start about here and go around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown color pencil because in the end this is going to be a color pencil drawing. And I am going to use the curve of my hand to draw in these angles. Awesome depth in you guys. Okay. Now, do you have to count the scallops? Absolutely not. That would just drive me crazy. I don't want you. This drawing is supposed to be fun. So let's make fun, right? So now I'm going to look at the scallop edge and Make it, make it scallop. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to get 
get your highlights in. Oop, first thing you need to do. It's really kind of race your pencils. It just looks crappy. Highlights. And it's kind of like doing a sphere or shooting a sphere. I'm going to make it right here. Right here. I'm trying to, I'm not rubbing real hard, but I'm just trying to get full coverage. I mean, please don't make it scratchy looking. Keep sharpening your pencil, get a nice soft tip. Okay, I've got some dark areas on the raised section. These are like drawn on. Oh, they're not drawn on. These are roof lines in the shell, like coloration to the shell. They can serve a purpose. They can also give us an opportunity to put some cross onto our line in here. And give us like more a sense of form. And I'm also going to get, I think I want some yellow in there too. I want this thing to like really pop. But again, use what, you know, use what you have. Um, and here's my overall shell color. Now what you want to do is we're going to shade this like you're going to shade a sphere. Gently go around the shell. Stay within the lines or erase the negative space if you go outside your lines. Because we're not perfect at this, right? Turn your paper to help you.
these lines again. There's a difference between showing like inner lines in the shell and actually outlining. Your shell has visible lines. So we're going to add those visible lines right in. Again, sharpen your pencil as needed. I'm getting excited because I really like how this is coming out with all these lines. Awesome. Now I'm going to create these negative space kind of light areas in here. Really show off where the light's hitting this. That ain't attached to the shell. Um, I'm noticing now with a super sharp pencil. This come like this, and beautiful. Stills coming out. Okay, here where I can see the paper through, I'm going to add some green. Again, I don't really want to smudge all these straight lines that I'm making. So I'm going to call it with lines. Actually, I'm going to add even more lines. edge of this. Shout, which is really cool. Go ahead and put that edge in with a super sharp pencil. And then, um, done. So here is the shell. Have a great day.